it's a little bit better than stuffing all your crap in a box. Good morning guys and welcome back. So, it's been a while and now we've got COVID. We just returned from New Zealand, had a great trip, met up with some family, absolutely loved it. Back to our home country, but now we're back in Australia, ready to make some good videos for you guys. And we've got COVID, so we've got seven days isolation at home, um, which kind of sucks, but might be a good opportunity for us to do some good DIY stuff. Get a few things da done around the garage and around the house. So, first video for our return home to Australia and our first COVID video is that we normally store most of our Bowden's gear. We mostly use Bowden stuff. It's not sponsored, but we just love Bowden stuff. It's great gear. They make one of the best cleaning products i found. It's taken me years to find good cleaning products, and since I found one that I love, I love all the products that I always buy them, um, no matter what, and I actually found them in New Zealand so I could share that with my parents and my in-laws and stuff. But normally I chuck it in this big container here and it it works for the most part, it keeps it out of the elements because it's like an open garage down here, but it just sucks, I've got to pull it off the shelf, put it somewhere, I can't take it to the other sides of the car easily and accessibly. Um, and just before we went on holiday, Repco had a detailing trolley, like a specialised detailing trolley. About the same size as this one, um, but obviously not as good. And it was on sale for $79, which is a pretty good price, and I should have bought that. But I didn't. We went on holiday and went back up to about 140 from Repco. And most of them probably would sit around that price anyway. So if you're like me and kind of just stuff all your crap, all your detailing gear, in some random box or on a shelf somewhere, this might be a good weekend project for you guys. So what we've got to deal with is this. I think it was like a makeup trolley at one point for a company. We've got this trolley behind us. Now you can buy these brand new from like Ikea. I think they're about uh, $60, $70. Or you can go on Facebook Marketplace like I did and pick this one up for $30. Uh, now it needs a little bit of work. It looks a bit boring and a bit, a bit plain. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make this into, I'm not going to say the ultimate detailing trolley because obviously there's going to be better ones out there. But this is going to be the ultimate budget DIY detailing trolley out there um, and it's going to be under I'm going to say $40 all up for all the materials and everything uh, now because we are in isolation I can't go out and buy more material I want to get like some foam pads to actually insert into these um, shelves here and do like the cutouts um, for like all the bottles and stuff so they've got something really nice to sit in so I might incorporate that into another video but something we've got here is it's like a pegboard thing that we bought from Bunnings, this was uh, $6, we bought it for the back of the Jeep and never used it, but we'll be cutting this down um, and making it like a little side profile like such and using that to store all our brushes, all our cleaning brushes and stuff like that um, on it as well, which I think it's going to work out really well. So, let's get on to it.
Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Actually, really happy with the way this turned out. Because we can't leave the house because we're in COVID lockdown, we actually recycled a lot of things we had sitting around the house. Like this board, as I said, we bought for the back of the Jeep. Uh, we used nails to hold all these brushes on, spare screws, stuff like that we had. Um, all these California license plates, which I've added to it. I think that looks great. We bought that when we were in America. Jeep parts, um, sign we got for my birthday. All these things were just kind of laying around the house and I thought I'd put them to good use on an awesome looking detailing car. Also we use, this was a bike clamp um, for like handlebars for like a light. I thought it'd be a great spot to hold the hose when I'm not using it instead of just laying it like on the ground like I normally do. It needs to be tightened up a little bit but it's pretty damn good. Really love that little add-on. Um, and then we've got these little light pods um, that we're going to use for detailing. Put them inside the car. Look for spots around the car. The magnetise, they stick to the side of them really well. So that's really it. The only downside to this trolley that I don't like are these shitty wheels. They don't roll really, really well. So once we have to leave the house, um, we'll go to Bunnings or go to a second hand shop and try and pick up some wheels that will roll better on the ground. Other than that, less than 40 bucks and looks mint. Oh, the other thing I like to do as well is get a foam insert for here so it stops these moving around, which Eventually we will do, but unfortunately we can't at the moment. But that's it for today guys. If you like this video, we'll do a few more videos over this lockdown period. If you like this video, smash that like and subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.